Hey everybody, it's Jeff here of the Mentor Team at Realty Executives Cooper Spranzi. Well, in case you haven't heard, the market is kind of hot and uh, properties are definitely <laughs> flying off the market in most segments of our market. Obviously, everything is a little bit different. So the question that always comes up in this time of year is if it's such a hot seller's market, why do I need a realtor? Why don't I just sell it myself or why don't I just pay a small fee uh, for a flat rate realtor to sell it for me. Well, we're gonna discuss all of that and take a look at why comparing your realtor based on price might be the wrong way to look at things. Hey everybody, so it is certainly reasonable when you are selling your home in a hot seller's market to wonder, why should I pay for a higher service? Why should I pay a higher fee in order to sell my home? And what we're gonna do today is go through and take a look at some of the numbers that actually tell the story for why you might be looking at the wrong number when you're talking about making the most money from selling your home. So what I've done is I took a look at our team, our brokerage, Realty Executives, Cooper Spranzi, which is a full service brokerage. And I looked at four of the top flat rate or limited service brokers in the Dane County area. Took a look at our general commission plans based on the highest level of service. So with some of these flat rate services, you can pay a lower commission fee than what I'm gonna share for like a yard sign and a couple pictures on the MLS. But I'm gonna assume that everybody wants negotiation and handling of paperwork as well. So I've come to the commission structure for each of these and we're gonna take a look at how these properties are selling, what they're selling for, and how that affects your walk away. The other thing we're gonna assume is that single family and condo listings are what we're looking at. And the numbers we looked at are the sales from 2020. So I accumulated all of 2020 for all these brokerages and for our team ourselves to see how fast we're selling properties, how much we're selling them for, and what that means for the walk away number for home sellers. So let's start by taking a look at the most important factor of all, which is how many properties sold. And if I go and take a look at our little graph here, you'll see our team is gonna always be on the left, RECS, that's our broker. And these are the top four flat fee companies. Uh, we are not gonna be naming people or, or doing any of that kind of stuff, but um, these are the top four flat rate companies in the Madison area. So if we look at the number of listed properties over 2020 that actually sold for each of these brokerages and our group. Our team sold 100% of the properties we listed. Our brokerage sold 93% and the best flat rate company was at 90. In fact, one only sold 80% of the properties. So my question is, you're saving money maybe, but 20% of the properties didn't sell. In a banner year, a record year for home sales when houses were flying off the market in 2020 despite COVID, one of these brokerages did not even sell 20% of the properties they listed. That should be a red flag. The next thing uh, that I wanna take a look at is um, how many days on market were the property. Again, if properties are flying off the market and if properties are selling quickly and aggressively, properties we know are going to draw the most competition and the best offers early on in the process. That's why a lot of properties are selling over the weekend is when we set things up like that, we're gonna draw the most competition. Properties in this market that are sitting for a week or longer are gonna draw less interest, less competition, which leads to less offer prices and worse overall terms for the seller. So again, looking at this, our team averaged seven days average on market. Um, and I will add a disclaimer, this comes down to how things are listed, right? So if a company lists a property on a Monday, but they don't start showings till Friday, they are picking up five days on market. I do wanna acknowledge that. Um, we're looking at seven days for our team, 17 for our company, and the best flat rate, uh, the best flat rate days on market was 22, which is just over three weeks. So, you know, you're saving money, quote unquote, um, by paying less, but um, 
you know, you're spending three weeks on the market in a market that you shouldn't be. So my question is, how's the service and, and what are you actually paying for? What are you not getting uh, that's causing that? Again, one of these flat feet number two was actually average days on market, 48 days, which is a month and a half. And in this market, that is crazy. We're also going to take a look at the fact of if you have the average original list price, because some of these properties that are sitting on the market are doing price drops, right? So the average original list price compared to the eventual sales price. That's the list to sales price ratio. And in looking at the list to sales price ratio, you're gonna see uh, our team averaged, you know, 1.18% over list price, okay? Um, our company averaged 0.64% below list price. And the next best flat fee was point was 4.29% uh, below list price. So, you know, for reference, a, a easy math, a $100,000 property, our team would sell for 101, generally speaking, based on averages. Our company would sell for about 99.4%. The best flat rate would sell for about 96%. Here's the thing, you're looking to save 3% commission and none of these are within 3% of that. So you've lost that already based on price alone. Here's how that factors out on a $400,000 house. Again, our team at 404, uh, one of these flat rates, you know, based on their numbers overall and averages, a home originally priced at 404, they'd end up selling for about 352. Uh, that's that's an issue. <laughs> that's not saving you any money. That's costing a lot. So here's here's what goes through a lot of people's minds and the consumers' minds is it's that commission tag, right? Like that that number and commissions a a word that's yucky to a lot of people anyway. Um, but if we take a look at this, and I'm going to assume, I have to assume a couple things here. Um, I have to assume uh, that the uh, typical buyer's fee is a certain number uh, in these flat rates. They will tell you that they'll sell your house for a certain dollar amount, but what many people don't think about is they also have to tack on the percentage of the buyer's broker fee. So we, as a buyer's agent, work for 3%, so do many other people I know, um, but there's a number of fees. The seller can decide some different fees, but I'm going to assume it's a certain number. So we're going to add that back in because that is a fee that you're still going to pay even if you use a discounted service plan. Um, so based on the typical $400,000 sale, you, know, you are going to be paying, quote unquote, paying more money with uh, our team, our brokerage, a typical full service brokerage in the area is going to be more than these flat rate. I mean, that's why, you know, they're competing on price. Uh, and, and, you know, what we look at here is obviously much lower numbers. Okay. And this is, again, assuming that you're buying their package that includes them negotiating and handling paperwork for you okay so if you're just asking for a sign in the yard and you're taking your own pictures and stuff these numbers are going to be a little bit different for commission um, but you know we're assuming that we're offering the same services okay so if we take a look at the average sales price all right remember we're going to go back to this the average adjusted sales price take away that commission here's your net walk away all right. And with our team on the average $400,000 list price, you're going to walk away with 380 for our team. You're going to walk away with 373 for our brokerage. And the next best flat rate program that you're going to walk away with is 367 based on the averages and based on the experience of the market. So the question that I have for you is, do you want to not quote unquote pay? Do you not want that number added to your spreadsheet or do you want the biggest check at the end? Right? And if you want the biggest check at the end, we've shown you two things. Number one, uh, our team, uh, which does have fewer listings than these brokerages as a whole, okay, so our numbers might be a little skewed in that sense, has outperformed them on average, right? But our brokerage, which has many more listings than these brokerages as a whole, has also outperformed them in every single, single category. So again, the question is, not necessarily what are you going to pay, but the question I would be asking as a home seller is who am I gonna to hire to help me walk away from this property with the biggest paycheck? And if that's what you're going for, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a full service program for you that can show that they can outperform the market, that shows they have a marketing plan that's going to draw the attention to your property so your property is one of those properties 
that people are fighting for, that people are competing for, and that people are driving up the price, adding those awesome terms that you're looking for so that you can maximize your home buying experience. So there's a lot of information, a lot of geeky data stuff that I threw at you. I get that. But the message I want you to hear is make sure you're asking the right questions when you're talking about who you're going to be listing your home with and who you're going to be listing your property with. And the question I have is, if you have to compete on price, what are you really offering your client? So that's it for right now. If you have any questions, want to talk, feel free to reach out anytime. We're always happy to help you work through your unique situation and make the best decision for yourselves. So that's it for now. Once again, I'm Jeff with Realty Executives Cooper Spranzi. Thanks for checking us out. We'll talk soon. Take care.